Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thank you guys for checking out this video. For today's episode, we're gonna be showing you guys how to customize these white Hirachis. We're gonna be changing the uppers into a rose gold color using this pre color that's available in limited quantities on shoeminator.com. Make sure you head over there right now to get yours. So let's get started with the prep job. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is use acetone and cotton balls to wipe off the factory finish on the leather. All right, so we got the uppers prepped. Now we're gonna go ahead and tape around the midsoles using the scotch tape. So one of the most important steps in restorations or customs is the tape job. If you have a bad tape job, you can have poor results, leading to more work in the long run. All right, so the shoes are all taped up now. Now we're gonna get started with the uppers. We're gonna be dyeing the fabric materials first using this pre-mixed rose gold paint and this GAC 900. The reason why we're gonna be using GAC 900 is so the fabric won't stiffen. All right, so a few things from dyeing the fabric. One, you don't have to worry about getting any of the dye onto the leather because we're gonna paint right over it. All right, so this color is laying down pretty easily, so from the looks of it, we're only gonna be needing to do one coat. All right, so once the fabric is all dyed, make sure to use a heat gun to heat set the dye. All right, so when you get to the sock liner, you're gonna have to really get in there so you can apply it properly. All right, so the uppers are all complete. Check them out. Sock liner as well. Now we're gonna move on to the leather parts. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the strap and the rubber patch on the tongues. We're gonna be taping off around those areas just so we don't get any paint on the nylon material. The reason why is because the paint doesn't have any GAC 900, so it could possibly change the color of the material if we get any on it. All right, so the leather is fully repainted now, both rubber parts as well. Now we're gonna tape up all the nylon parts so we can spray them with the matte finish and then move on to dyeing the laces. All 
All right, so shoes are all taped up now. Last thing we gotta do is spray the uppers with some Krylon Matte Finish, and then we'll be back to dry the laces. All right, so while we let the shoes dry from the matte finish, we're gonna go ahead and dye the laces using this pre-mix rose gold paint and the GAC 900. All right, so now we're gonna wring out the laces to get rid of any excess paint. All right, so the shoes are finally dried from the crawl and I finish. Laces are dyed. Last thing we gotta do is remove the tape, lace them up, and they'll be good to go. All right, finally, one shoe down. Check out these Rose Gold Harachis. These came out super clean with that gold shimmer. Check out the side-by-side -side comparison. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the left shoe. I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, guys, check these out. That's gonna wrap it up on these custom Rose Gold Harachis. These came out super dope. I really like how the leather came out in certain angles. It kind of looks like fish scales. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. I check out the comments on YouTube, so leave me some feedback. Let me know what you thought on this video. Also, head over to Rejuvenator.com to pick up your pre-mix rose gold paint. Use my promo code VIC20 to save an extra 20% at checkout. As always, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next Monday.